Hello people, we are here with King Tao the Nero, the last skin. <laughs> it's a noon and uh, we're feeling it, it's somewhere in Africa though. So I want to go straight to the question because I have Tao Nero close to me and people are wondering, you know, people are asking so many questions, how will be the indirect connection to Tao Nero today? So we'll be asking some favorite questions. So I'll start by Tao Nero, we are here somewhere in Africa having a tour, right? Definitely, definitely chilling, vacation time, working, you know what I mean? Getting into some things, you know what I mean? Definitely. Uh, mm -hmm. Alright, yeah, it's cool and perfect. And I see you are uh, working on some big official video for your album. And I think it's it's a great idea by this time. And I also like hearing the news all over Africa right now. You're about to release and uh, the, the video of your hit song in Africa, Kenyatta. Yeah, uh, man, that song sick, man. <laughs> <laughs> that song sick. I love the yeah, song. You know, their favorite words in bars in that song. That so, what do you think about those bars? Well, you know what I mean? I feel like it was long overdue, man, you know what I mean? They've been sleeping on Sierra Leone and sleeping on Caldinero for the longest, you know what I mean? People be like, why I had to diss Calligraph Jones, uh -huh. you know what I mean? When the beef was not about me. But I felt like the brother came to West Africa and he dissed the whole West Africa. Oh, really? And nobody really answered the fire back. All those other rappers was just acting kumbaya kumbaya with the brother. I know we all brothers so love, but this is hip hop. If somebody comes to your territory and dislocate everybody there and you don't say nothing, that means he's talking to every one of y'all. And he's not talking to me, definitely, you know what I mean? So I felt like, you know what I mean, Kenyatta was long overdue. Forget Caligraph Jones, forget the rappers I mentioned. I'm talking about the whole continent has been slipping on Sierra Leone. Ah uh, yes, yes, yeah. I, I figured that out because you, you mentioned even some bars in your in your song about people neglecting Sierra Leone as a as a small country. You know, people neglect Sierra Leone. So what do you think about that? Well, I feel like you know I can take the same theory, like say in football and soccer, right? When when they put the soccer players in the field, the only can beat South Africa on a good day. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, like oh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> you check South Africa is a big nation, but Burundi might have a very good team. Or Togo with Adebayo and them. They can beat South Africa, they can beat Nigeria. If I, if I can get you, you mean so, so I don't have the talent? Very, very much. It's just a neglection on the other side. Yes, yes, yes. So you're thinking like it's, it's a numbers game. Most of these companies, these big people, these big players in Africa, they tend to go where there's more population because they want to make money. They go to Kenya, it's probably like 40 million people. Ghana is 28 million people. Nigeria is 180 million people. South Africa is probably like 50 million people. So they go to these nations, they pay more attention to these nations. But they gotta balance it up. Because you go to Sierra Leone, there's DSTV in Sierra Leone. People pay bills, they watch Trace, they watch Sound City, they watch MTV Base. So sometimes I feel like they just have to pay a little bit of attention you know, to the smaller countries too. Even if it's one hour of the day, show us some love. Play the videos that's, that, that got quality. Nominate some of the artists that oh. deserves it. You know what I mean? Right. Blends it, blend it up. All right, the, the message is tight. Actually, it's very tight. And I guess people are getting the message right inside. It's a, it's a very, very clear fact that people have been neglecting, the whole Africa have been neglecting Sierra Leone. But now Cardinal is here to tell us that, hey, it's time to stop now. Let's okay. come here. Let's dig out the talent in Sierra Leone. Don't need to even to dig out. Cardinal is pointing fingers now. Now we have talented people. Like what you just said, it's a very good thing. In Kenyatta is a song. When you when you be planning to do your official launch in Sierra Leone? Well, right now I'm here. I just um, started shooting the video for Kenyatta. You know what I mean? Like um, you caught me on a very busy time, so I have to take a break to come talk to you. You know what I mean? We shoot the Kenyatta video. And I'm um, planning to drop the album, the Kiss the Throne album, on the 21st of next month, March. You know, so be on the lookout for that. It's dropping, it's heavy, it's crazy. You know what I mean? Like, um, it's an album that, you know, it's a fusion between hip hop and Afro beats. Okay. So I call it Afro fusion. You know what I mean? You got that. Like, yeah, it's Afro fusion, <laughs> you know? It's like a, it's a blend between hip hop music and Afro beats. Blend them together. You know, you won't find tracks, hip hop tracks there. You won't find Afro beat tracks there. You know, because I feel like I'm a very versatile artist. When you think of cats like Akon, think about White Clef, uh -huh. you think about 50, you think about versatile artists, people that are very versatile. That's the kind of thing I'm on. Alright, that's what Cardinal will cook for us. It's a mixture. So you sit tight and wait for it. Swelling people, Africa, be afraid of Cardinal. Oh, <laughs> Producers, I got Mastercraft on it. I got legendary beats on yeah, it. Yeah, I wanted to ask yeah. about that because you know it's a it's a, it's a whole you know bunch of album here, but this one is very different with a different style. Yes. Why the producers 
man, crazy, man. I got Grammy award-winning producers on uh -huh. this album. I got Bram Soko. He produced Drunk in Love for Beyonce. Okay. He's the same guy that produced that song for Beyonce. He produced Never Let Go. Okay. That's one of the singles I dropped. Are you getting this? Uh -huh. yeah. I got Diesel. He produced For The Money. He's the one that produced Lollipop for Lil Wayne. He produced Mr. Sofisa for Lil Wayne. Diesel. Go on Google. Check him out. I met him in L.A. We did the song. He sent me the beat. It's For The Money. It's a crazy song on the album. I got Novell. Novell is a producer. He won three Grammys. You know what I mean? With Red One. I don't know if you ever heard of Red One. Red One, yeah. I've Red One, yeah. Novell is part of Red One. I was in Spain with him for like two weeks. Oh, really? In Malaga, yeah. We did about three songs. Three songs. You know, watch out for those records on the album. You know, mm -hmm. plus, I got Mastercraft from Nigeria. I got Legendary. Oh, uh, Mastercraft. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mastercraft is the one that did. We done with Everything will be. Yeah, I got that one. I yeah, got that one. that one. <laughs> So you know it's a very sick album. I feel like it's well put together. I think you know? I think I think people really need to see tight. Yeah man, and I'm dropping it on March 21st, you know? Oh! You gotta take no 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 yeah. take a pain, take a paper, and I'll save the date. What's the date again? March 21st. That's I the save hottest that date, date <laughs> in Sierra Leone. The hottest day in Sierra Leone actually. It's a match madness, man. At the National Stadium in Freetown, that's where we're dropping the album, you know. I, I wanna take you a pause here, um, You said some uh, some of your bars in your song that in your country used to pack stadium and this again it's match and are you ready to pack stadium again well you know i believe like the music speak for itself you know i believe in work if your work deserves the crowd to come out i believe they're gonna come out and i believe that i've been putting in work you know what i mean i got crazy songs on the album i got a single that's training all over africa right now you know what i mean all the bloggers shout out to all the bloggers everybody out there that's been supporting the single that's commenting on it definitely from Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, South Africa, Sierra Leone, Senegal, Guinea, Liberia. Shout out to everybody, man. Everybody. has been supporting the new single, Kenyatta. And I got a bunch of other singles coming out. So brace up and stay on the lookout. Okay, that's it for today because you are on a very, very busy schedule trying to put some great things together about your PDP. All right, stay together. Count the narrow. All right.